The Pilbara region, the economic powerhouse of Australia, now leads the charge towards a more sustainable future. APA and BHP have joined forces to reduce emissions from the generation of electricity used to power BHP's WA iron ore port facilities. At the heart of this transformation is the Port Hedland Solar and Battery Project, a milestone in Australia's clean energy journey. This project will help reinforce APA's reputation to deliver renewable energy for our large industrial customers. That project will deliver a 50% carbon reduction for BHP's port facilities at Port Hedland. Featuring a 45 megawatt solar array 14 kilometres south of Port Hedland, this facility is designed to harness the region's abundant sunlight to power mining operations. This project is expected to supply BHP's forecasted average daytime energy requirements for its iron ore port facilities, reducing emissions. The goal of the project overall is to decarbonise power supplies and it's happening all, all around the world these days and BHP happens to be the first company to decarbonise in Port Hedland. The solar farm is designed to withstand wind speeds of 80 metres a second or 288 kilometres an hour, a first in the Australian market. Interesting thing about this project will be how we integrate the best and solar together. So that way providing smooth and reliable power to our customers. So we need to make sure when the sun's shining, we're maximising the solar in without harming our gas generation. And then when there are any network issues, the best will cut in and provide reliable electricity. At the heart of this renewable transition is the Battery Energy Storage System, or BESS, with a maximum output of 35 megawatts and a capacity of 36.7 megawatt hours it stabilises the grid by providing instant spinning reserves when needed, ensuring uninterrupted power for critical port operations. The power station ultimately transmits power over the grid and the dispatch is how much power you're either providing from the solar farm or our brown energy turbines. So it's juggling what to turn on, when to turn on, how long to turn on, what amount of power to generate from which the battery also acts to move excess solar produced during the day to evening or peak demand times. To efficiently transport this renewable energy, a new 1km 33kV cable links the solar facility to the existing Port Hedland power station, while an extended 66kV switchyard ensures seamless energy integration. The challenge combining the new solar farm into a legacy power station is that technology is changing all the time and making sure that what you implement is not going to be obsolete in the near future. You want to try and design something that's going to be sustainable and well able to be maintained over the, you know, the longevity of it in general. This project is a testament to the power of partnerships. Securing Australia's energy future is working with our clients, our stakeholders, including government bodies, to work with them to deliver an effective, efficient and reliable solution to meet those energy needs. Providing the power they need, meeting their climate transition plans and doing it in a way that is responsible. Through a power purchase agreement with BHP, Emissions from iron ore port facilities will be cut in half. Supporting Australia's net zero ambitions, the Western Australian Government has also invested $1.5 million through the Clean Energy Future Fund. Dealing with environmental conditions in Port Hedland is a harshness. Dealing with high wind speeds, cyclonic events, it has been a massive learning curve for me. As far as the project goes, it's really delivering on time safely and helping the contractors get over some of those challenges is uh, probably the most enjoyable and interesting part of any project. I think overall we all need to give ourselves a, a pat on the back, contractors, vendors, owners, APA, I think we've done incredibly well out here. 
the, the structural integrity of the Seoul farm has been built to very high standards. And I think it's been a good challenge to meet those requirements. I think our team works doing fantastic. Uh, each person in our team has been uh, a key part of delivering what's been a very unique and complex project. And we've all brought our expertise to the forefront of the work that we've been doing. Constructing a renewable energy hub in the remote and rugged Pilbara terrain posed significant challenges, from extreme heat to complex logistics. Yet through innovative engineering, a driven team, strong vision amongst their partners, APA have made the impossible possible. This is just the beginning. Approvals are in place to expand a 90 megawatt solar array and a 60 megawatt two hour BESS, further strengthening Australia's clean energy landscape. The project has created approximately 280 jobs during construction, prioritising Carriara and other traditional owner businesses. The size of the projects are exciting. The Pilbara is so important to the Australian economy, it contributes so much to our national economy, not just our state economy. Uh, it drives a huge amount of our national growth. The projects that we're doing now will allow our customers to remain competitive into the future, as well as their green credentials for supplying into the international markets. I think for me, we have to ensure that we are uh, able to deliver safe and reliable energy to our customers uh, and the community and to, to the broader Australian economy as a whole. BHP has committed to cutting scope 1 and 2 emissions by 30% by 2030 on its journey to meet net zero by 2050. The Australian government has set even broader climate targets, reducing emissions by 43% by 2030 and achieving net zero by 2050. This project marks a critical step towards those goals. This is more than a project, it's a movement. A commitment to a sustainable, low carbon future. Join us as we redefine what's possible in renewable energy.